Hey, have you planned your Easter dinner yet? Well, if not, you better start now. And when you do, go with a dish that gives you flavor and a full belly. Use pork. Here with some easy recipes is our very own Chef John Ashton. Hello, man. Good How to are see you, you buddy? Hey, Actually. pork is unbelievable because uh, you can pair it with almost anything, am I right? Think about the Easter table. We love the Easter table. Yeah. The family gathers around, it yeah. looks joyous. We have a beautiful ham. It wouldn't be the same with it without a nice ham in the center. That brunch is wonderful. I want to show you a few ways today that you can actually spruce up your ham. The dish will look so sophisticated and the Easter feast will be surprisingly simple mm. and delicious. You're going to love this recipe. I'm going to get like stuck this. in because I know we can't. Okay. We don't have too much time. Right. What I've done here is some grape jelly. Just take some grape jelly, yeah. pop it into the pan with some fresh thyme. Okay. Thyme you can get in all of your grocery stores. A little bit of butter and you give that a swirl and what we're doing now is making this glaze the ham here you know this beautiful ham yeah. now when you think about a ham you can just cook this off and it feeds the whole family oh yeah so it's makes it simple also come on you're gonna have leftovers galore leftovers galore. and when we're gonna go up talk about the leftovers okay, in a minute. Okay. okay now watch this what we're gonna do is take some grapes and some onions pop them in the pan not a lot of people know but roasting grapes gives a beautiful sweetness to it this glaze I'm gonna pour it on now the pork the ham here we're letting that cook for about an hour and then we're gonna pop it back in I'm gonna keep basting it as this cook the juice of the grapes and the onion absolutely fantastic after about an hour and a half okay. it comes out you want to baste it every 15 minutes look at that beautiful oh, that glaze gorgeous, the caramelization you can see how succulent it is when you slice it the grapes are sweet and on the side this is a fantastic side you got here springtime peas ham mint tarragon and as i said earlier there's so many things that pair so beautifully with the ham Oh, absolutely. Get along so well, especially it's springtime now and it's Easter. It looks so colourful as well. Now, I've got some great news for you. Okay. If you go along to, shh, about this, if you go along <laughs> to porkbeinspired.com or Facebook Pork Be Inspired, you could win one of these for your Easter table. You could just win one for free? You could win one of them for free. Wow. Absolutely. Because we're giving it away. Shh. Don't tell everybody because I want <laughs> you to win at home. Also, ladies and gentlemen, be sure with your leftovers, make a nice sandwich. Okay. Think about a burrito and ham sandwich think about a quesadilla oh. or a panini have so much fun now if you don't want this recipe take your old recipe and just have fun in the kitchen maybe you want your poultry in there maybe you want some other spices have fun it really is not going to be a happy easter without a beautiful ham on your table right? it's not going to be an easter without a ham on your table okay john thank you so much delicious and wonderful as always we got that information including the links to pork be inspired on our website it's dailybuzznation.com. Click on the Rebuzz tab. Happy Easter, everyone. So simple.